20, 40, 80, infinity. While population increase presents challenges to the design of certain large cities, counterintuitively, localized population decline is a central problem in other regions. Although new construction is still needed in such areas, these new buildings are destined to be modified and abandoned over the long term. Shouldn't the inevitable obsolescence of buildings change the way they're designed? If we were to consider the totality of both material life cycles, including the reduction and recycling of the components of the construction, and spatial life cycles, including new opportunities that arise in the reconfiguration of buildings over time, if we do this, the shrinking cities can shrink more gracefully. Since such a proposal must address certain contextual factors such as policy, finance, and geographical conditions, this prototype for future recyclable housing is not universally applicable and focuses instead on Beijing, China. Despite the repeal of the controversial one-child policy in 2015, the threat of a future depopulation problem looms over China as a whole. Still, Beijing itself faces a different challenge. As a recently announced Xiong annual plan seeks to depopulate and refocus Beijing purely as a political and cultural center. Since population aging and population decline usually go hand in hand, unique living schemes should be provided to people at different stages of their lives. The methods established here may suggest applications in related domains and program types, since housing is not the only type of architecture influenced by population decline. This project serves as a prototype for retail, industrial, or even transportation facilities, which also must be reduced and recycled gracefully. While the AEC industry is traditionally focused on expansion, architects must start to consider how to design for less, less population, less square footage, and yet more opportunities.